What's up, guys? So, Core Set 2021 is out. It's been a while since I made a video, and I figured we could jump through one of my first drafts. So, we'll go ahead and jump into playing against actual humans. Now, Core 21, 2021, usually Core Sets are more geared to newer players. They try to have evergreen, like, um, guilds and set mechanics, like... Um, for example, blue-white flyers, red-white aggro. So it won't be as complicated as Ikoria and stuff, and you will be able to build a deck full of good cards instead of a, a deck that needs to be synergistic like Ikoria was. So it'll be a different mentality going into it. But it should be a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool cards on here, and it's, it seemed stronger than most core sets. So let's, let's give it the benefit of the doubt and, see, and jump in and see how, how good it could be. Hopefully we can uh, get an Ugin or something cool right out the gate. That'd be really cool building towards Ugin and draft here, but we'll see what happens. Whew, come on, guy. Last one, last one. Just got to hit the ready button. All right. All right, so let's take a look. So our rare... It is a 1-1 one, one Vigilant Lifelink that creates a 4-4 four, four if you gain 7 or more life. Uh, that's not going to be very easy or doable, or doable. If you get one Angel out of this, mind you, you're going to be doing it. And this is probably a card you play in a Lifelink deck, but it doesn't seem great. Um, Tempered Veteran's good in a counter deck. You don't want to be play, paying 6 to put a counter in something, but paying 1 to put a counter in something is going to be good. Miscast is kind of a uh, constructed card. Silver Smoke's goal is good in the life gain deck. You can sack it through all cards and keep bringing it back for free out of the yard. Um, Megalodon's a good top end in a control deck. Hexproof's a thing, as we know. Denial's not very good. Hunter's Edge I've been impressed with. It's like a better hunt the week. Visionary, also very good. So I'm going to start with one of these green cards. I think I'm going to start with the Hunter's Edge. Removal's always good. But I would take as many Visionaries as this draft can give me. So we'll take a start off with Hunter's Edge. Kind of sad to pass a couple decent green cards here. Let's first look at what green cards. Only Dreadmaw, so we could come off a of green. Uh, looks like the rare was taken. Flight of Promise, not very good. Seed Striker is good in an aggressive deck. Double striking, pumping them up. Uh, Reign of Revelations, a reprint out of Modern Horizons, and it's actually pretty good. They made it uncommon. Um, looks like Daybreak Charger is a really good aggressive card, so we could lean into an aggressive with two good white cards here. Secure the Seams, okay. Ignis Cure, I'd only play with a red-white, common, uncommon. Feed an Imp's decent. Uh, we could just take Turn to Slag. It's removal. We'll start off in two removal spells. That's good in core set. So yeah, deal five. I mean, that's basically just five mana kill something. Yeah, and we'll keep an eye on these aggressive cards going around. See if white continues to be open. Again, our first pick was green, and it doesn't look like Ranger's Guile or Sabertooth Mauler's not like jumping off of the page to, for me to take. Uh, carrying Grub I found to be pretty decent. Good little self mill, uh, five toughness for four. That has a chance to be a big creature. Heartfire em Emulator is just a great uncommon. We'll take it most likely to go with our turns for slag and see if red continues to be open. Judgment's not great. Cancel's just meh. Opt is good in a couple decks, so it could be good. It's good in the draw two deck that's uh, blue green. It's also good in the spells deck that's blue red. Uh, turret Ogre also could be good in green, white, red if we decide to be in the Ferocious deck. But I think taking the really good two drop and continue down and seeing if red's open is where we want to be. Okay, well, follow that up with a Scorching Dragonfire. I'm in for that. That's one of the best commons in the set. Definitely the best red. I seize another turn to slag, so Removal City. Got a bunch of removal. We also have Kinetic 
Augur, which I think is actually pretty good too, especially in the spells deck, but it's just good in general being able to discard two and draw two on a four body. That's pretty good. Uh, looks like white is still open. So there's a good chance maybe if white wheels to us, we could be red, white aggro almost with some good removal to get things out of the way. Or maybe red, white mid range. But Scorching Dragon Fire is above all of this. Alright, let's check the white out up here. Uh, I don't think he's very good. I don't think Celestian Force is very good. Even with Flyers, it's just meh. Tapping stuff is good. But Swift Response is good. Valor Steech is good. 3-3 three, three and a 2-2 two, two for 5. Caster Sphere is good. Wizardry. We got a lot of spells so far. So we could be the spells that can take the Goblin Wizardry. Two one ones with Prowess at instant speed. That feels pretty good. I think I'm leaning towards that and sticking to red and just letting this white flow to whoever. I mean, I could see that. I mean, it fits more what we're doing in our deck so far. Although, this, these two white cards are very good. Yeah, I think I'll take the wizardry and kind of lean into spells. We don't have to be spells, but it's kind of what I'm thinking. That being said, riddle forms fits in spells. It's pretty good in that deck. Good two drop into, you know, Scorching Dragon Fire, get in for three, Goblin Wizardry, get in for three, that kind of. It's pretty good. Scry on top of it. Uh, looks like white's not in this pack. Again, green doesn't seem open, so our first pick's probably not going to happen. Um, but I will take a 3 2 flyer that bounces something. That seems great. <laughs> a flying mana war. I'll take that every day. So, we're leaning into blue-red. Um, well, we haven't seen much green this whole time, but now that we're at pick 7, I see a great 4-drop green card. It's a would be a 4-5 on your turn most of the time, and then you can even get it even bigger than that. Um, Canopy Stalker's decent. And then Crab's Matt and Ignorance Cure and Onaki Ogre is also met. So I'll take the green card, just kind of hedge a little bit, see if maybe we're getting back into green. Maybe it just wasn't open much this pack. All right. That being said, this pack's kind of met. If we were the red white aggro deck, Sure Strike would be a decent card to put in, as well as the Battalion. Or, eh. The one drop chorister is not very good. I think I'm going to take opt and continue thinking about being blue red because that'll be a perfect card for that deck. Also, if for some reason, wow, we can't really sp splash the oak, but it would be good with the oak too. For whatever, maybe we could come off red, but I doubt it. Our red's pretty good. Uh, Thrill possibility is good in the spells deck. Also good with drawing cards, obviously. If, if for some reason we're red green and we have a couple things like the oak in our deck, uh, Megalodon's a good top end card, but I don't see it being great in this deck. Denial is probably better than it looks, but again, not huge on it. So I think I'll take the thrill. I think we're gonna lean into spells. Okay, well, looks like one of the aggressive white cards came back around. And so did Denial. I think I'll take the law. Eh, it's really not that great unless we have like Ghost Light out. I'm going to take the Charger. There's still a chance we come off with these colors. Uh, Grub, I think, is a very good card. That being said, I think I'm just going to take the Cancel. And then we'll. Might play a read the tides. It's pretty expensive, but might be okay. Shorn crab, we'll put in the sideboard. We need a big creature to hold up our late game, we'll have it. Alright, so pack one. Not too bad. We need some creatures on the lower end and some kind of better way to end the game. I think we're off of green. I think we're pretty solid into the spells matter deck. Get out of there. Okay. So let's kind of look at this pack. Um, Solemn Simacrum. I mean, can't hate that card. It's got value written all over it. Uh, Devotee, we're not in black. That Sanctum's meh. 
Quaddle. Now that might be a reason to play green. I might be in for that. The blue we have is really only holding us by uh, Ghost Light. So maybe we could take the Lore Still Quaddle. I think it's very strong. I don't see anything else other than Hunter's Edge driving us in. So let's put the green back in. Um, so the question is, do we just take Smackrum or Quaddle? And I'm going to take the Quaddle, kind of hedge a little bit. Smackrum's great and is going to be value in the whole deck, but I think there's a good chance we might jump ship into Quaddle, maybe splash blue. Yeah, it could be. Transmogrify is not very good. Unsamshit unsubstantiates actually pretty decent it either bounces an expensive spell time walks them or can bounce a creature to their hand which also feels great chrome replicator i think is pretty good as long as you have multiple creatures because anytime you get a second four four that's going to be disgusting uh glide master is pretty decent wizardry i mean we could just still think about being the spells deck um some good solid two drops as well I think the one thing we know is we're definitely red. So maybe it's Magma just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I think that might be the right pick. And it's a pretty dang good two drop. And we'll kind of keep staying open. A couple of good white cards. We're definitely not white. We're not black either. So that means most of the pack's a dud. Yeah, gosh. Hmm. We don't have that much creatures, so Hobble Fiend ain't going to be very good. Arsonist, not bad. But still not great. I think I'm going to take the Dreadmall. We'll see where we're at. All right. Baron Tolarian Archmage, that's pretty good. Uh, he comes in, he's a man of war, he bounces, and if you bounce your own thing to your hand, you get to draw a card. So that's pretty good. Um, Frantic Inventory, if I can get more, would be great in the spells deck. Spell Gorger Weird would be also really, really good. So yeah, we'll take the uh, Book Baron and hope maybe get a Spell Gorger or more Frantics. Even a Crash Through would be okay. So let's go ahead and take this green cards out. Take at least the double green cards out. That means, yeah, probably messed up not taking some smackrum back a few picks ago. Oh well. Uh, this another replicator. Again, we don't have any multiples, so it probably not going to be any good to us. Some more white aggressive cards. Megalodon, I probably want one up, but I can still wait on it. So I'll take a Goblin Wizardy and just keep our instants going as well as creatures. I have a little prowess deck. Oof. Another Quaddle, man. Double Vision is cool, but we're not going to really be... It's just too cute for draft, I think. Quaddle, like I said, is pretty good, and we could just absolutely splash green if we wanted. I don't hate it. Also, Swift... Cliffs and Arcanist would be good for the deck. Hmm. We gotta find a lane that we're going. I'm gonna take the Quaddle. Ah, no. I'm gonna take the land. I need the land more. We gotta find the lane that we, we need to be in. It's a late watcher. Nobody's in the Flyers deck. The Mutt's probably pretty decent main board. Definitely a good sideboard card. Um, yeah, we'll take a 5-5 five, five for 5. Can't argue with those results. Those are pretty good stats. Some good white cards still. So, seems like white's been open most of this draft. So, some form of white we could have been in. We could have had a few of these chargers, which maybe with paired with red would have been really good. All right, that being said, we'll take the turret ogre. That's good. Let's look at our curve. It's a little high for what I what I want. Hmm. That being said, I'll take my. Oh, no, should I? 
Yeah, we're pretty gummed up at four. I'll take my Megalodon. We get one for this deck. Probably the rest alone. Um, enters if you control non land, non -per token. Okay. I was wondering if it was token. Eh. We'll take the Glide Master. Giving stuff flying is good. And having a two drop when we need it is also very good. That gives us three two drops so far. We'll take another two drop in case we need it. Another late grub. And a cage zombie is just okay. Gill Swooper, I think, is very good. So I think White's being underdrafted at this table. As we've seen with that blue-white flyers card that went around. We'll take a crash through. It'll be good for the uh, spells deck. It also draws cards for uh, certain cards we might get along the way. Second Megalodon probably won't play it, but we'll put it in there. Vine. It's another way to draw an extra card. Okay. Let's take a look at this. We'll move the two green cards out of here. Unless we get fixing, they aren't going to be in the deck. Alright, so we got a decent amount of spells. Could use a couple more removal. A couple more better ways to win the game. Okay. Uh, none of the white cards. Veerman, Vryn, Wingmare is pretty good. Another Jester 5-5 five, five for 5 could be good. That's not bad. Attacks and draws a card. Uh, I think Frost Breath might be what we're going to take. We need a little bit of uh, little bit of protection. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with. Hold down, hold him down for a couple turns. This is the third Watcher that we've seen this draft. Man, our blue white spell like Flyer deck could be could have been cool. Another Havoc Jester. Mentor, I think, is pretty good, but we can't play it. A couple good white cards. Finishing Blow. That's a really good one that we can't play. Boldarian Arcanus. Another two drop. Makes our uh, spells cost less. We can pay for the mana. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Makes things like Read the Tides and some of the other spells in our hand and Turn to Slag costs a little bit cheaper. That should help. Bring your curve down a little bit. Ooh -wee. Another visionary, another hunter's edge. I don't think I can come off the blue at this point. Or I would love to have them. Frantic inventory. I mean, if I would had taken the one earlier, I would definitely consider taking it here. I might still consider it. I think I'd take another arcanist here. I think making our spells cheaper. Like being able to cast the wizardry on turn three right after playing the arcanist is going to be pretty good. So that's what we'll do. All right, that's a payoff. Experimental overload. We have 10 instants in sorcery so far, this being our 11th. So we're going to be able to make a, a 2 2 or so most of the time and be able to bring back one of our removal spells. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. We'd also love the Mistral Singer. It's a Windrake that has prowess. Seems amazing. We'd take the Opt coming back or the Arc, another Arcanist too. Thrill possibility would be good. Overload just seems like a bomb in this deck. So we'll take it. We'll love it. We'll definitely play it. Ooh, another Frantic Inventory. Hmm, the one was wheeling. I'd consider it. Protege would be decent. But I think Pilferer Pil is probably the pick here. Um, it's card draw. You can make it unblockable. So, so theoretically, you play it, and you make it unblockable. You discard a card, and then the next turn you pay two and draw a card. So it's kind of like paying two to rummage almost sometimes. And if they ever cast this, yeah, that'll never come up. They cast this spell from anywhere other than their hand. You draw a card as well. Okay, this one's second stitcher in a row. There's been some crazy powerful cards going late in this draft. Uh, Capture Sphere would be good, although it's not spells. Uh, Pitchborn Devil is very good. Riddle Form would be very good. 11 ways to trigger Riddle Form. No, oh, more than that, right? 13, nope, 11. 11 ways to trigger it. I think I'm going to take the riddle form. 
Seems good. Tutelage. How many ways do I have to draw cards? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six ways to draw extra cards, so tutelage could be good in this deck. Yeah, I think I'll take it. Good way to filter our cards and have another win condition in the deck. Capture Sphere would also have been good. Um, do 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 do. Could splash white. Is there any white cards that I want to? No. So Wind's Card Craig isn't very good. So we'll just take the two drop. Don't know if we'll play it. Watch if Sphere came back. Crazy. Um, we could take the Thorn Falls and think about splashing green. That's what I'll do. Another Watcher. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. How many creatures we got? Thir 14? So I don't need the turret over. I'm going to put the Watcher in the sideboard. Actually, I'm going to put the read, take the Read the Tides. Because I got two Arcanists, maybe one more coming. Uh, how's our curve look? Uh, pretty decent. So I don't need the Naki. I'll put the Wishworm Crag in the sideboard. Ooh, Arcanist, Opt, or Thrill? Hmm. Well, I do have some decently high um, sorceries, but I'm going to take the Opt just because we took the uh, Tutelage and I want a cheap way to be able to draw cards to try to break that. We'll take the Protégés similarly because of the Tutelage. And I guess we'll take the Miscast for... If I want to play it in Constructed ever. Okay. So let's take a look at this and see if there's any green light to splash. Okay, so we're looking at Lore Scale Quaddle or Hunter's Edge. Now, the Quaddle is not the type of card I want to wait around to hit green for. Um, you kind of want to hit it turn three and get it going and get it crazy big. Whereas if you wait till turn eight and then lay a two, two for three, you're not going to be growing it that fast. So probably not worth splashing for. Hunter's Edge is pretty good. It's a spell, so it'd be working this deck. And it's a removal, so that could be pretty good. Between the Megalodon, the Ghost Light, Havoc Jester, and some of the other stuff, it would kill things. 15 creatures, yeah, I could definitely run it. Do I need to? I probably don't. I probably don't. I'm not going to bother with it. Okay, Ops, Crash Through. I think we need the cheap spells for this deck. Then getting the curve and everything going since we have a high curve. We need the kind of like... Uh, what do they call it? Uh, anywho, the one one mana draw spells. I think we definitely need in the deck. Uh, Pilferer would definitely gonna play Glide Master. I could give or take on. I think in this deck, Riddle Form definitely. Being able to play Riddle Form and have an opter that on defense, or being able to cheaply. Activate your riddle form. Seems pretty good, so definitely want to keep these one drops. Arcanist, definitely, because we want to make our spells cheaper, like I've already said. Magma, definitely, gives us a way to kind of kill them through blockers. Immoculator is going to be great. It's prowess. I mean, being able to sack it and deal. It's another removal, basically. Hobble Fiend, I'm kind of on the fence about. I'll look at it in a minute. Scorched Dragonfire, never going to cut that. Thrill also, never going to cut that. Frost Breath. Frost Breath, most of the time, I like to be more of an aggressive card. Because you're able to tap something down for two turns in a row. And when you're able to curve out and tempo them, that, then it becomes a lot better. But I guess we could use it as a defensive card in this deck. It could be good. Could be good with all the Goblin Wizardries. Maybe we could uh, go wide and then tap two things and give everything prowess. Yeah, we'll probably keep it. Got a Protégé to go with Tutelage. I think I'm going to keep both of those. 
Baron seems amazing. So we'll definitely keep that. Cancel on the fence about. Wizardry we're going to keep. Ogre. Ugh. We don't necessarily need the Ogre. Yep. Man of War. That flies. Definitely in it. Havoc Jester. Just a big creature. I mean, Havoc Jester and Hobble Fiend is a combo. So it could be worth thinking about keeping. And then Hobble Fiend also can sack some of the wizards if they're doing nothing. So that could also be good. And if I have Wizardry, Havoc Jester, and Hobble Field, then we can start pinging the things for extra ones every time I sack something. That is a combo. Read the Ties is pretty expensive. I think I'm okay with playing one, but not two. Same with Megalodon. So I think I'll cut one one and one. And keep keep at least those for the top end. But we'll, we'll just kind of thin out our top end a little bit. Um, similarly, I'm definitely not going to play two uh, Glide Masters. So we'll cut one. Um, this is best of one. And I know our curve's kind of high. But it tends to fix your hands a little bit. So I'm also thinking about playing 16 lands. And we've got some card draw to where we can kind of draw out of a mana screw. Or a flood if we wanted. So I think, I think we're going to go 16. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut red or blue. Looks like red. Looks like we have a lot of blue down here. So we'll cut one red. So now we have three cards to cut. All right. So, Hobble Fiend, we said combos with Havoc Jester and like the Wizards. So that could be okay. Also, um, Emulator sacks when it, uh, and it'll deal damage, so it also works with a Havoc Jester. So that's pretty cool. Um, how many spells we got? We have. 12 instants and sorceries and 14 total non-creatures. So I can probably cut a cancel. It doesn't work very well with riddle form. Because we want to do riddle form on our turn if we can. Uh, probably have enough ways to win the game to where I don't need an ogre. So now we have to decide what two drop we want. Do we want something to give things flying? Giving Megalodon flying could be good. Havoc Jester would be good. The rest of this stuff is meh. Sacking stuff also is kind of meh. Even with the rare case when Havoc Jester and it can combo. I don't see it being great. Especially knowing we're not a high creature deck. So it's not like it's going to be able to use it that often. Yeah, I think I'd rather give Flying than Sack stuff. So I'll get rid of the Hobble Fiend. And keep the Glide Master. And that's the deck. So hopefully you'll stick around and you watch some games. We'll see how this uh, blue-red spell does. Uh, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.